Hi, welcome to the core section. My name is Lauren Chirello, and I am so excited that you're here with us today. Um, as a cancer survivor, these core exercises helped me gain my strength, help me reduce fatigue, help me reduce back pain, and helped improve my posture. So I hope you'll enjoy them as much as I do, and I'm really excited to share them with you. So we'll have three seated exercises. First exercise is called an ab crunch. So right, we see our chair here. Now lean back, let the shoulders touch the back of the chair, slide down a little bit, and then from here, tip the pelvis under so you feel the low back round. Hollow the belly so you feel deep brace from your abdominal wall. Your pelvic floor is hammocking up and in. And then from here, we start to lift right leg and then carefully bring it back down. Exhale, bring your left knee in toward the chest. So as you do this, the hope is that we're initiating from the low belly, right? What can happen is maybe you start taking, the quads start to take over your hip flexor. So really focus on the low abdominals. So you can continue on alternating or as an option to advance, you could take both legs up. So exhale, bring both knees in toward your chest and carefully bring them back down. Exhale, bring them in and back down. Let's continue alternating two more sets. I encourage you to do 10 on each side. Last set here for us. Exhale, bring it in, and then carefully bring the leg down, sit up nice and tall. So, second exercise is our side bend. You wanna think about your posture, even though you're sitting down, right, try not to sit hunched, you wanna sit up tall. Lengthen the spine up, so ears, shoulders, hips are stacked, your ankles are underneath your knees. It's a side bend, so right arm will reach up, left arm is lengthening down to the ground. Side bend over to your left, and we're gonna to start to pulse for 10 two, three, four, rib to hip, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lift up, switch sides, left arm reaches up, right arm reaches down. Think about relaxing your shoulders and lifting your spine up toward the ceiling. Side bend to your right, pulsing for 10, two, reach three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10, lift up. One more round just like that here. As you side bend to the left, notice how the right rib cage and hip space is being created. So this should feel pretty nice on that side as well. For 10, two, three, four, here's five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10, lift up, lengthen. Remember to get yourself in your position alignment first, relax the shoulders. Side bend to your right, pulses 10, one reach. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Notice that my hips didn't move at all during that too. So think about anchoring down your hips when you side bend, okay? Last exercise, we'll stand, take your chair, turn it around so the back of the chair is facing you. It's an exercise called bird dog. Now, if you've had breast surgery, lung surgery, or a lymph node dissection uh, recently, it's the last six to eight weeks, you're gonna keep both hands down. But watch as we follow along here. Hands come underneath the shoulders and walk the feet back. Feet are pretty much right underneath your hips. So body's in an L shape. L for Lord. Right leg extends long. Kick lengthen, take a deep breath, fill the ribs, fill the lungs, exhale, draw everything in. Now, if you're ready for it, left arm can reach long. So I want you to look down toward your chair. So your neck, your cervical spine is in the line with the rest of your spine. So deep breath and holding here for five, four, three, two, and on one, add pulses to finish. Lift up one, lift up two, three, four, and five, hand and leg down. Stand tall, take a breath, relax the shoulders, and we move to the other side. Hands come back down to the chair, walk your feet back. Make sure your um, weight's evenly distributed as well, okay? So from here, left leg extends back, take a deep breath, fill the ribs and lungs, exhale, draw everything in. If you did on the other side, the right arm will extend out, holding here. Now notice this is a weight-bearing exercise. You'll feel some magic happening in the right leg. You're helping to build your bone density with this weight-bearing exercise. Last five, four, three, 
two, and on one, add those pulses. Pulse five, four, three, two, and one, hand and leg down. Awesome. All right, chair is moving away. I'm inviting Donna Wilson to the stage. <laughs> so from here, you'll lay down on your mat. Rest the palms down by the side. Rest your shoulders down on the mat. This is an exercise called reverse curl. Take a deep breath, fill the ribs, fill the lungs, and exhale, draw your navel in toward the spine. Hug your right knee in toward your chest and then your left knee. From here, your heels are close to your seat. So your legs are in a little ball. From here, start to bring the shape of the legs toward your chest. Your pelvis lifts up, your low back lifts up, and then you carefully lower down. So you're initiating from the pelvic floor, your low abdominals, right? And notice the shoulders wanna round up. Can you keep them flat, right? And let the head relax down as well. So we're doing this 10 times. Here's five. Good, heels close to the seat. Six, excellent. Here's seven and eight. Hips come to the ribs. Nine, smooth and controlled. Last one here, 10 and carefully lower the legs down. We can bring the feet mat width apart and let the legs just gently fall to one side, the other side. I will say if you have a spinal fusion or if you have stenosis in your spine, uh, you know these exercises may not be the best choice for you, so um, see what works best for you and your body. Next exercise is a single leg stretch from Pilates. Extend your left leg long and then bend your right knee in towards your chest. Right hand comes above the ankle. Left hand comes below the knee. Notice the hand position so the leg draws in toward your midline, right toward the chest and toward the center of the body. From here, take a deep breath and exhale. Pull the leg in, let the left leg float. Exactly. And now switch and extend. Right leg extends, left hand comes above the ankle, right hand below the knee. Beautiful. And we do it again. Let's start to take a tempo. Bend in right for 10, here's two and three, excellent, four, here's five. To advance, you can always lift head, neck, and shoulders up. Here's seven, there it is, eight, she's really cruising now, nine, last one, 10, bend the legs, lower your spine, neck, and head down. Beautiful, okay. Our next exercise is called crisscross from Pilates. So this exercise will focus on our obliques. From here, rest the palms down um, and yeah, we'll get ourselves into it. Lift your legs to tabletop. So knees right above the hips, squeeze the inner thighs together and now take the hands behind the nape of the neck. You'll make a little cradle for your head. From here, keeping the elbows high and wide, lift your head, neck and shoulders, exhale up. Now take right armpit across to the left leg, shoot the right leg out, extend it out. There it is. And then come back through center and to the other side. Beautiful, rotate. Good, and now we start to take a tempo. That's it, across one and two. Here's three, it's ribs to hips. Four, here's five and six. Not easy stuff, here's seven, eight, nine, and 10, bend the legs lower down. With that one especially, you do wanna be mindful. If you've had recent abdominal surgery, um, you wanna make sure that you're at least six to eight weeks out, and always um, wanna check with your doctor to make sure that these exercises are a good fit for you. Okay, so our next exercise is a bridge. So we'll rest our palms down by the side, spines nice and long. Bring your ankles right underneath your knees. Separate your feet, um, hip width apart. Yeah, so walk the heels back just a tiny bit more. Perfect. And then from here, relax the shoulders, let the head rest on your mat, and then press down through your feet, start to lift your pelvis, your low back, the center of your back up. You'll see a slope from your knees, hips, shoulders, and then carefully lay each piece of your spine down. And we'll continue with that. So you wanna find 10 times, so we slowly lift up. And as we're lifting, we wanna think about how we're activating the posterior chain of our body. So it's our hamstrings, it's our glutes. But guess what? It's also a core exercise. So you're using your whole trunk. You're closing the ribs in, you're drawing the navel up and in toward the spine, and you're using your paraspinal muscles. So it's very exciting. <laughs> Let's do two more just like that. And you're breathing, right? Make sure you're following the breath. Exhale, press up. Excellent. One last one, just like that here. And we're gonna hold for a little push, right? It's an option. So we hold the hips high, close the ribs in. Now pulses five times. Five lift, four lift, three, two, and one. Carefully lower the spine down. Beautiful, hug your knees in. And then from here, rock yourself forward and back up to a seated position. 
flex the feet, bring your feet hip width apart, hold on to the sides of your thigh. This last exercise is called a curl. So bring the hands to the sides of the thigh, elbows high and wide, chin is open, chest is open. From here, take a deep breath and then exhale, round the low back. So you're gonna tip the pelvis under, feel the low back stretch, but keep the chin open. And there it is, yes. And then from here, slowly just start to reach the right arm up. Bring it down, hold on to your thigh, and then left arm. Make sure you're keeping your core really engaged, right? That's how you're keeping the shape of the spine. So a lot of work happening, even though, you know, we're not moving too much, just the arms. Let's try two more sets here with the arms. Reach up one and lengthen up, breathing. Beautiful. On this next one, we'll hold on to the thighs, little curls for five. So we curl up for five, rib to hip, four, Here's three and two, last one, and come all the way up to sit. Beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us for our core section. I hope you feel energized after this session and that you continue to practice these exercises as much as you can and build your core strength. And uh, thank you so much for joining us.